matter in our surroundings concept bits by online pathshala so what is matter everything in this universe is made up of material which scientists have named matter the air we breathe the food we eat stars plants and animals even a small drop of water or a particle of sand everything is matter one thing common between all above is they all have mass and volume that is they occupy space hello everyone i'm isha dev and in this video we discuss some important characteristics and states of matter so what are these different states of matter matter exists in three common states solid liquid and gaseous solids tends to have a constant shape and a constant volume liquids tend to take the shape of container but the volume remains constant gases on the other hand tend to take the shape of container and the volume of container the next question obviously comes is is these states of matter interchangeable yes the states of matter are interconvertible this conversion is possible either by changing the temperature or pressure or both some common terms to describe the change from one state to another are fusion fusion is the change of tem- uh, is the change of state from solid to liquid for example solid wax become fused or molten when heated solidification is the change of state from liquid to solid vaporization is the change of state from liquid to gas and condensation is the change of state from gas to liquid sublimation is the change of state from gas to solid or vice versa without going into the liquid state for example the burning of camphor so what is the matter made up of it is made up of tiny particles that scientists have agreed to call atom these tiny particles are not visible with naked eyes so what are the characteristics characteristics of these tiny particle take one tablespoon of sugar and add it to the glass of water after some times the water appears to be sweet this proves that water particles have space to accommodate sugar particles and the both particles are moving continuously the rate of sugar dissolving increases with either stirring or providing external heat this is because the particles move faster with rise in temperature particles attract each other also the dif- the strength of this attraction is different for different particles of matter so what makes the state of matter different from each other their particle behavior of course solids have an orderly arrangement of particles and they tend to have a maximum force of attraction within them the space and kinetic energy is least and they change they resist any force which try to change their shape or their volume liquid on the other hand have particles which slips and slides over each other they have intermediate force of attraction between particles the space and kinetic energy between particles is medium this behavior makes liquid to take the shape of container in the gas- gaseous state there is no order particles move randomly there exists minimum force of attraction between these particle there exist a large space and maximum kinetic energy between the particles so what is the effect of temperature on the particles the increased heat energy due to the rise in temperature increases the kinetic energy in solids this increase results in particles vibrating at higher speed the energy supplied by heat overcomes the force of attraction between the particles the particles leave their fixed position as seen here and tend to and start move more freely a stage is reached when the solid melts and is converted into a liquid same way if more energy is given to the liquid 
they tend to move more freely and are converted into a gaseous state. The reverse process is that is uh, occurred when gas is converted to liquid and liquid to solid by decreasing the temperature or removing the heat. The temperature at which a solid melts to become a liquid at the atmospheric pressure is called its melting point. The amount of heat energy that is required to change 1 kg of a solid into a liquid at atmospheric pressure at its melting point is known as the latent heat of fusion. Because of this latent heat of fusion, the particles in water at 0 degree centigrade do have more energy as compared to the same particles of ice at the 0 degree temperature. The next thing is the boiling point. The temperature at which a liquid starts boiling at the atmospheric pressure is known as its boiling point. Latent heat of vaporization is the heat energy required to change 1 kg of a liquid to gas at its atmospheric pressure at atmospheric pressure at its boiling point. This makes the particle in steam that is water vapor at 100 degree centigrade to have more energy than the water at the same temperature. So what is the effect of pressure on states? Gases are converted to liquid for, for easy transportation. Now this conversion is possible by decreasing the temperature and increasing the pressure. This process is also known as liquefaction. Dry ice or carbon dioxide is converted into solid state under a very high pressure. Solid carbon dioxide get converted directly to gaseous state on decrease of pressure to one atmosphere without coming into liquid state. And that's the reason why solid carbon dioxide is also known as dry ice. So what is the difference between boiling and an evaporation? Boiling is a bulk phenomena. Particles from whole of liquid, let's say liquid is some water is getting boiling. So particles from whole of liquid will change into, can change into a vapor state. On the other hand, evaporation is a surface phenomena. Particles from surface only gain energy to convert into a vapor state. So what are the factors affecting the evaporation? The factors affecting the evaporations are the first one, an increase in the surface area. We already talked about that evaporation is a surface phenomenon. If the surface area is increased, the rate of evaporation increases. For example, while putting clothes for drying up, we spread them out. An increase in temperature. With the increase in temperature, more number of particles get enough kinetic energy to go into the vapor state. Therefore, an increase in temperature would increase the rate of evaporation. The decrease in humidity. Humidity is an amount of water present in air. The air around us cannot hold more than an infinite amount of water vapor at a given temperature. If the amount of water in air is already high, the rate of evaporation decreases. An increase in wind speed. It is common observation that clothes dry faster on a windy day. With the increase in wind speed, the particles of water vapor move away with the wind, decreasing the amount of water vapor in the surrounding. Thus, the rate of evaporation will increase. These were concept bits from online Patshala. Thank you. Subscribe now for the latest updates on new videos.